Let's see. Cool. Yeah. Do you want to put that cord behind me or? No, you're good. Okay. <coughs> Let's see. Um, all right. And so how do you play this game? Well, you take all the dice, these black dice there in your action pool. What's this for? Oh, that is your, that's the Benny Jederet. Uh, you know, those, those chicks that uh, are, can like kind of see the future oh, okay. and they use their voice to control people. Yeah. That's your Benny Jederet token. Um, you start the game with one okay. and then you can get more. Uh, and that counts as a wild, meaning any face. Uh, you can use that as an any face. And in order to plug in the dice, you just need to have the face. Matching. Yeah, matching. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, so uh, to begin to get, yo, what's up, the G Man ninety seven, Ribsy Man, yo. Oh, there's a lot of yos today. A lot of yos today. A lot of yos today. Hey guys, I'm gonna go YOLO today. YOLO, <laughs> YOLO. You only live once. Red guys eating good. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, well, if you know the lore there of Dune, um, House Harkonnen, which uh, uh, Angry Joe will be playing, not me. Uh, are, we're in control of Arrakis. Yeah. Um, but actually, this is right after we betrayed. So if you know the lore, it's basically uh, House Atreides, which is green was becoming one of the more powerful houses in the galaxy and the emperor was getting a little jealous They're like fuck these guys you know they're not respecting me but he couldn't openly go to war with them because it would piss off other houses right. so instead uh what he did is he planned to betray them so he said you guys are so awesome you get to control arrakis and uh, you get to be the stewards of arrakis and the harkonnen are like what the hell we're the stewards of arrakis but secretly they were like let's fuck over house atreides so they said they were leaving the planet. Uh -huh. They didn't really leave the planet. Atreides lands, puts all their forces right here, and then once they're all set up, then Harkonnen and the Emperor like uh, attack them and fucking, fucking obliterate them. And that's when Paul and his mom run into the desert and the is remnant that, forces so run it, into the desert. Is that where we're at in the movies right now? That's where we're at in the movies right now. They just went into the desert, and now that's Paul fun. needs to become Muad'Dib. So there was this weird <laughs> prophecy <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> that said that he Muad'Dib would rule the galaxy and, and fucking, you know, uh, control the sandworms on Arrakis. And what's so important about Arrakis? Well, it's got the spice. And spice is not only... the only place only that has spice, right? Spice is the only place that... Spi not only is spice like the best drug in the universe, it also helps control all the interstellar travel, and you need right. it for that shit. So, yeah. um, now, I've just obliterated you and scattered you across the desert, and your objective is to... Uh, well, you already know your objective yeah. to get uh, some victory points, and my objective is to basically wipe you out and generate uh, spice. Yeah, so, so, spice. so like at the spice start girls. of the round, draw two planning cards, uh, and you can choose from either deck. You can go two from one deck, one from both, yeah. and these are special little actions. Steel okay. Curtain wants to know how many movies there are. Yeah, there's, there's so just two. There's the third one. There's three movies technically. Right. Yeah. 1984. Yep. Uh, yeah. uh, who was uh, directed by David Lynch? Yeah, I think yeah. it was. Yeah. And that one I highly recommend. That's I the best. Really I really love it. Thank you, Jay. I like because it, it's got the dirty and the grossness yeah. Yeah. and yeah. the yeah. 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 it's yeah. wacky and sting. Now yeah. Robert and <laughs> yeah. Cisco and Ebert. Yeah. The rest of their names. Uh, yeah, yeah, they yeah. called it the Antichrist. They hated it so really? much. Yeah. I, I need to go find it on YouTube. Yeah, Is go it? find when they call it an Antichrist. Yeah, it's hilarious. Um, basically, they hated the fact that the characters were also talking <laughs> in their heads, and you can hear them. Yeah. So, And I guess he did it because the books are so big, he tried to condense all the books down. Right. And so not only do they talk to the talk, and it's like, I'm going to fuck that guy up later. You know what yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it's kind of cheesy. But I thought it was fun. So. Well, and the, and the I, two I, new I ones... It kind of cover all of the first one yeah the two the, he brought here he broke it into two to cover one yeah. film to yeah, yeah. so they don't have to talk in their heads That's right. basically yeah, okay. um yeah there's there's plenty of uh uh lore channels uh coda and lysander that that cover that kind of stuff on youtube yeah. hello brain eclipse abyssal lord smz loss what's up man nice to see you here on a board game stream so i'm red jay's green yeah. we have john here who's going to play some judge dread with us here in a moment um patrick will be here around one and we'll start that 
probably get some food in between. But since I already had this set up, I was like, let's run through a few turns and see if you like it. Yeah. So, uh, so we just drew these planning cards, and these are like secret things that we can spring on each other. Uh, what do you have to do? You just have to discard a dice uh, of any face, okay. and then you can play the card. And so of course, you, these got yep. great miniatures on this table. Huh? All the miniatures are uh, beautiful. That's why I say that uh, board gamers are just miniature players that don't know it yet. It's true. <laughs> That's what I want to <laughs> impress on people yeah, so they can join the lazy. tabletop legion. <laughs> they're, just, they're just lazy miniatures. So players. if you'll grab your dice and yeah. roll them on the green screen here. And uh, so these dice have different faces on it. Jay's is not going to show up very yeah. well because they're green, but we're going to do it anyway. I've got three chickens and a crown okay so take those dice and then start plugging them into the different areas now it's not really a choice you just plug them into the uh, slot yeah and the one choice you do have is if you roll a dupe that is too many uh -huh. like i did i rolled four of too yeah. many then you have to put it in one of the slots that is the least filled. Okay. And if you have two least filled, and I'll let me do this camera here for you guys. So I slotted all my dice. I have one more star than I need. It can either go into leadership or a house ability. And that sucks. This is the worst setup because these are my most valuable. <laughs> so I feel like re-rolling, but we'll just say that the Harkonnen were sleeping. And the well, Atreides fucked them up. They had a big party up. after after the, the you know takeover. See, so they're all there. You go. They're recovering. Big party here. I'll put it into this slot because I know uh, the Baron Harkonnen, this fat dude, has a pretty powerful ability that I want to use. That was legal, wasn't it? Yeah. So chicken. It was the chicken, and I put it over here into strategy. All right. Uh, and so the uh, who begins the game? It is well. First, we we draw two planning cards. Then you reveal three prescience cards. You just yep. did that. Then the Harkonnen do vehicle placement. Set aside one action die per slot. So how many vehicles do I get each turn? It says right here on this chart. Oh, wow. I get three harvesters. I get two helicopter, or I could never say this word. Orn ornithocopter? Ornithopter. Ornithopters. Ornithopters? Ornithopters, yeah. Ornitho ornithopters. Ornithopter. Right? Thopter. Yeah, Ornithopter. I, I'm not going to be able to say it. It's, it's, it's a one. helicopter. And, it's then, a helicopter. Uh, and then you have a carryall. These carryalls basically fly in and they pick up the spice uh, harvesters so that worms can't destroy them or they try to get there in time. So two ornith ornith ornithopter ornithopters. There you go. Ornithopter? Yeah, there you go. All right. B boom. Ornithopter. Uh, the three spice, and then I place them somewhere on the board. Um, now, you want to destroy Who these, Jay, you? because it will obviously ruin my ability to make spice. Right. How do you destroy them? You just get in the same space with them, and they automatically are destroyed. Oh, okay. There's there's no rolling. So you're going to put that one there? Yeah. Unfortunately, I, I have to put them kind of at risk. Yeah. I don't want to go right next to you. I want to make you at least work for it. <laughs> okay. Um, so... Every space I I that's desert, you could see, is the desert. Uh -huh. um, but there's something called deep desert. Where is the deep desert? It's any space that borders the uh, edges. edges of the board. Okay. And deep uh, desert will give me two spice. And normal desert, like here, will only give me one spice. Uh -huh. So I'm going to put <laughs> one in the deep desert way over there. That's two spaces away, right? And then I'll try to keep these safe by putting one there and putting one there. And uh, what's cool is uh, the Atreides player, you see those little square ones right there, Jay? Uh-huh. You can put those on the board, and what that is is worm sign. So the sand starts to shake, okay. and there could potentially be a worm popping up. So if you see my troops moving across the battlefield, or maybe you put it near one of these uh, um, harvesters, right, yeah. Then they can, and I say near because in the end phase, you, you automatically get one in every space with a harvester. Oh, okay. So um, that just gives you a better chance to have two worm or two worms near. Okay. So, and that's how uh, that's your desert action right there. Which oh, one? The de the that fr that yellow one. So you have an action that doesn't require you to spend a dice. Oh, this that one. one right read here. it. Okay. Oh, so take this action if. 
if you have fewer unused action dice than your opponent. Yeah. And you do. Yeah. And for the purposes of this uh, example game, uh, go ahead. You get first turn. Trades always gets first turn. Okay. Do that action first. So place two uh, worm sign tokens. Yeah. And can he place this anywhere as well? At the same oh, time? yeah. At that time, when you make your decision, go ahead and place that wherever you want. So put it over here on Paul so you can activate Paul. Well, he's already got a dice, right? Yeah. yeah. So he, he may not. Oh, so then you only need one dice to Yeah, activate. you only need one dice oh, to so activate. Then there you go. So yeah. yeah. Put, that put one over there so you can get one of those guys going. All right, so two worm. Hey, Don Quixote. Hey, guys. How are you doing? I am doing well. How, how are you doing on Sunday? We're going to do some tabletop gaming. We're going to start with Dune, and we're going to end with uh, Judge Dredd. I can't wait. Okay. Right. So you put the worm signs uh, right there. Okay. Clever. Because uh, mm -hmm. nice probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take these troops and march them out to try to destroy you, right? And if there's worm sign there, then they might get swallowed up. Yeah. Um, so you kind of block me off there. Um Oh, I need to put down this. Your, your uh, helicopter. So I'm going to put a ornith, 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 ornithopter. 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 Um, and then let me put... Uh, one right here. A carry all right there. What, so, what is what is? Why do you have to put them there? What's, what's those are the air spaces. They can only go. Air units can only go in the circles. Okay. And what do they do? This tr tries to save these before worms come, and these have two purposes: as troop transports or scouts. Okay. I can look at that uh, thing. Okay. Uh, you could fire at it with a certain card, if you have one. But what do you play your cards? Uh, you play your cards as an action using a dice, discarding a dice. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. So, and, it, and the action would be corresponding to the symbol on the top of the card. Correct. Oh, yeah? Is, it, is that how they have the symbols on the top? Uh, I don't no, know. No, you just no. spend any card. Any, any dice? Any dice and play one of the cards. Okay. All right. So, uh, you did that action. Now, I will go. Um... So looking at my board here, and so when you when you do a um, a hero, so you kind of want to deploy your heroes on the board, right? Yeah. And this guy says, this slot normally deploy three units and one leader, Bashar or named. I have generic leaders and they're called Bashars. Um, but if I have this guy do it. Deploy two regular units, a Soto car, and a leader in one or more settlements. So I get uh, an elite unit if I do it with this guy. Okay. So I will. I'll put down an elite unit. Now, when you use a card like this, that special ability, you have to flip it over. And he, he hasn't come out yet. So uh, deploy three regular units. So And one... Sarukar and a leader. I'm gonna put Beast Raban. That's uh, Dave Batista in, oh, really? in the movie. Okay. One of the brothers. That's pretty cool. There's Fade, which was Sting in the 1984, yeah. and then there's Dave Batista, the fat, less fat guy, because the fat guy is Baron. Um, okay, put it in one or more settlements. Let's put it... Okay, and another thing we need to respect is there can only be six units in a particular area, okay. not counting the leaders. Leaders are these different colored ones. Um, this doesn't count. And a token actually doesn't count. It's only when you reveal it. Okay. Um, so in this instance, I will, I'll put a guy here. One, two, three, four, five. I can afford another guy, six, and I can even put him here because he's a leader. Leaders don't count. Again, oops, I'm not doing that on camera. So what I meant to say was I'm stacking up dudes here. I put two dudes here, the elite guy here, and this guy there, and I'm trying not to exceed six. So I have two other guys left. Let's, let's build up this area. 
and that's five units. So I'm good. Okay, it's back to you. What uh, what are you doing on your turn? All right, on my turn, I'm going to use one of my cards. Okay. Now I would have to use. Does it does take it any dice? Any dice? Even the Benny Gesserit token. Discard it, and and then you can use that card. All right. But that that then doesn't let me play these no, cards, right? It only lets you play the card. All right. So since I have this leader with two dice, the house, I'll use that. And this one is the Smugglers. Uh, uh -huh. Gunnery, Halak, enters play. So go ahead. Oh, you son of a bitch. That guy's good. Oh, first card. Gunnery, Halak, and he goes... Here. I think that's what the expansion is based on. Oops. Who is it? Not the dude you want. Oh. No. It says deploy him? Yeah. So, yeah. When you deploy, you put that in any... Um, He's not in this one. Uh, yeah, he is right there. Alright. Yeah, put that in uh, any of your green... Yeah. Uh, there he is. Uh, him and two elite units in an empty desert. Okay, elite units are the squares. Squares, okay. In an empty desert, yeah. okay. No, I got something else. You can destroy that guy out there. <laughs> That's an empty desert, correct? It is, and this is... So this is another mechanic I didn't explain to you. Right. This is a geological station, uh -huh. these little things, and when you get to them with units, you reveal them, and you'll go up on the track based upon that. Okay. So I think since you are there, it just automatically gets revealed. Take an ecological station, advancing, advance the prescience marker showed onto the step, token step. So go ahead. So you reveal this, and it is a green. Oh, nice. Okay. So, so go up by one. Cool. And then this goes discard pile. Do I get another one, or just wait? Or do I wait for? No, it? you don't get those unless you uh, are told to draw them. Okay. I think it's at the end of the thing. Interest play. All right. So you. That's your turn. That's. I guess that's my turn. Yeah. Okay, now coming back over to me, let's... Uh, and then you say flip flip the card. Well, he, he would be flipped, right? N no. Well, not necessarily. He, he, he. Okay, what symbol is he? He's the this the chicken. Yeah, he's good. He comes in ready to do okay. his ability. You got to find his miniature. Yeah, I got it. He's already, he's already on the board. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, I have a bunch of dice in move two legions, so I'm just going to start moving towards you. So I'm going to take one. Two legions. I'm gonna take all of these guys and move them into the next spot. In fact, I'll leave that guy behind. So that's one legion, and let's do this as the second legion. So moving those guys. Cool. So uh, end of a round is when we use up all our dice. Is that correct? Yeah, we keep going back and forth, spending the dice until we or have no more dice to spend. Mm -hmm. You have fewer dice than me, right. and then you just do desert actions until I'm done doing my dice. Okay. So your turn. All right. So in this case, I will. I go ahead and do this. So I'm going to fire some rockets. You son of a bitch. You have that <laughs> card. Did you shuffle? I did shuffle. Damn it. I did shuffle. So you can fire at I'm an airspace, and I assume you're going to blow up my rocket. Oh, you want to blow up my carry-all? Yeah. Oh, so shit. I'm, I'm okay, what's it? Can you read the card for us? All right, so choose a sector containing any of your legions, then roll three combat dice. Oh, you got to roll to see if it... Yeah, remove one. you can fuck up the roll. Yeah. Remove one Harkin vehicle of your choice from that sector or a connected air zone for each, um, like, what's the sword, little sword, and star. So these are the combat dice, correct? <laughs> yeah, the green ones. <laughs> the green ones. All right, so here we go. 
And I got one, barely. Sword, a shield, and what's the other one? Two, sh two shields and a sword. Well, there you go. You got a, you got a, uh, yeah. uh, two, two shields, two shields and, a and a sword. Okay, you only need one sword. So there it yep. goes. <laughs> Son of a bitch. So now my uh, harvesters are vulnerable to worms. Okay. Um, yep. Let's do another moving of two legions. Now, can you move the same ones you did before? Yeah. Cool. Mm hmm. Which means I can, if I have, I might be able to reach it all the way there, but I don't know if I have enough forces. Let's do, um, let's just do a single movement. That with that one, and then let's start to, we got some assholes over there, huh? What was the fucking with our back? <laughs> Who was that? Hey, that's uh, with oh, all your favorite Latino recipes. <laughs> oh, what? You didn't know I was Hispanic? SMZ Law, thank you for the ten dollar donation. <laughs> Sending some money rockets your way, Joe. How is your weekend so far? Nice. It's been good. I um, yeah, just kind of cleaning the house, uh, setting up this stream, getting all the cameras going and stuff. I'm very excited to start playing tabletop and board games again. It's yeah. my relaxation. It's how I kind of blow off steam there. And I want to say thank you to Don Quixote and uh, Why People Why. That was yesterday, Why People Why. But well, these two, SMZ okay. and Don Quixote, I appreciate y'all. Yeah. Thank um, you. Yeah, okay, well, that's it. That was just two movements. I moved this force into here, and then I moved this force into there, marching towards you. Do okay. you get checked at geographical or does he... No, there. so these I don't. I don't think I do anything with. Oh, He's he here. has to come over uh, here and look okay. at them. Yeah. All right. All right. So I will move. Um, I will do this strategy. Mm -hmm. And so use his to me. ability. It's more yeah. powerful. Well, yeah. So uh, you ha you could choose either or, um, and I would choose the one that's in green text yeah, because it says it's move three different legions. Yeah, it's better. Okay. It's just simply better. And your legions are obviously the the tokens. Yeah. Um, now does he come into play or does he? No. no? The only way he you can do that is deployment. If you look under deployment, it says deploy regular units and a leader. Okay. Okay. So okay. that's how you get your your miniatures out on the board. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, hey, birds flying high. We did find Mittens. Yay. Uh, Mittens was out in the backyard. <laughs> chilling, chilling. Just chilling. Waiting for uh, waiting for dinner. Yeah. And when she opened up a can of cat food, <laughs> he came running. So. That was it right there. The that was it. Tonight. Yeah. So I, I, we were worried as Can well. I move them here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only space you can move is, you see these red lines? Uh -huh. So I can't cross that, but I could go from there to there. You can go from there to there. Oh, did you go in the same space? Yeah. Oh, son of a bitch. God damn it. Pew, Jay. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Doing good. Okay. You blow up one of my uh, spice harvesters. Uh, can you move that legion into that space right there? This uh, legion? Do you yeah. want to take the leader or uh, you leave the leader behind? I don't know. What's the leader the uh, of allows you to use special symbols. He doesn't give you extra dice. But you can use the symbols on the dice that are stars. So he has to battle. Yeah, I'll, I'll take him. Yeah. E.T.V. Burt. T.T.V. Burt. God loves us so much, he sent his one and only son to save the world, repent for your sins, and be saved today. All right. For re oh, wait, that's that's the first time shadow. That's not the donator. No, that's not the donator. <laughs> the, donator is the donator is SMZ <laughs> Laws. Glad to hear. Well, <laughs> well welcome, uh, TTV Bert. And SMZ Laws, glad to hear you're chilling. No rush or stress on uh, angry reviews. We love this type of content. I like to play games and chill watching your stream. What cool, man. What well, game you are you watching? What game are you playing, yeah. SMZ? That, that now's your painting time, you know, or your, your seminar Yeah, time, you know? exactly. This is my weekends, and, and thank you for recognizing that because usually people will come in here and be like, where's, 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 where's the, the next angry yeah. review? Why are you playing this shit? <laughs> it's right. like, bro, why, you why aren't you watching a movie? Why I have a life, too. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 
So thank you so much, SMZ. You're, what? You're, what? Yeah. Edgar Joe's human? You're what a did? badass. <laughs> All right, so you did move in there, yeah. and you blew up one of my. Uh, you moved three though, right? Yeah, I can move three. So my one, next, one more. next one. Dang, and uh, the camera couldn't see it, so I'll do it again. He moved right here. All right. I'm getting uh, awfully, awfully froggy over here. You should I'm be weak at the beginning, not yeah, strong. No, Stop I'm gonna, this. I'm gonna try to <laughs> push. Okay. That's why you gave me this. You gave me the the crappy team. No, no I, I actually, well, I want to be the Atreides, but, um, you know, I thought Red, Angry Joe. What, what's go. her name is Atreides, right? That, uh, what's, that, what's that girl's name? She's Fremen. She's Fremen in, in the movie. Zendaya? Zendaya. Zendaya yeah, Fremen. she's Fremen, Fremen. Fremen, your yellow allies. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so you're done. Yeah. Uh, let's see what I can do here. Um, boo boo. Okay. Well, that's a problem because that force looks bigger than mine. I never thought that these mofos would out. Oh, you know what? Yes, did sir. I? Um, did you do any of those I that require yeah, the do desert. them now? No. Kind of thing. The one out in the desert. Yeah, I think this one. So, mm. uh, no, it says, and uh, I have to attack your your legion. Mm -hmm. That's not in the settlement. Okay. Okay. So that was just a, I did, attacked your harvest. Gotcha. Um, all right, I'm going to move two different legions again. Cool. Oh, darn it. Cool, cool. Let's move these guys. Now, here's how uh, helicopters work. Or, 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 ornith ornithopter. Yeah. Ornithopter. Ornithopter. Here's how ornithopters work. So as long as they are in the same sector as your unit, so this ornithopter covers pretty much anybody there, you can say, I'm using the ornithopter, and you move them two spaces. So one, two, oh, but then cheeky. you lose the ornithopter. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Move there. So I get a, a massive attack force over here coming for the siege, and then I can move one more legion. And let's... Let's fight a losing battle. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I will come from here into here. So my forces are less strong. You've got two elites and yeah. one infantry. I have one elite and two infantry. Well, no, I got a leader. Oh, there's a leader? Elites. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, then you, you have much better force. Okay, so I'm attacking you there. What do we do? Well, we get one dice for each unit. Okay. And leaders do not count as units. So you only get two dice. I get three dice. Now, what is what, that the guy? Yeah, what's is this an stuff? actual guy? Yeah, what's this? Oh, at the bottom, bottom, that means for every star uh -huh. you get, that's what he has. Oh, oh that's what happens. So he gets two spears for two a Two spears star. and a shield. Blue, 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 oh, my blue, God. That guy's blue, blue, really good. Blue, 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 blue. Hey, SMZ Law, thank you for the donation again. I am playing a mixture of Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, yeah, you told me that. You told me that. I forgot. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, The Finals, and Tomb Raider Remastered. Also, Joe, most of us who are here watch you for your humor, not for your reviews. Just watched your entire playthrough of Suicide Squad, and it was gold. Yeah, yeah I'm put together that review. That review should be out uh, probably about Tuesday night. Uh, very angry review. Okay, so you roll two dice, All and right. I have to pray to God you do not get a star. Yeah. Because what's this guy's name? Stilgar? That's, uh... I think he might be the best Halleck. fighter in the game. Gunnery Halleck. Gunnery. He's, yeah, one of the better fighters in the game. Um, all right, so let's fight. All right. Oh, I okay. got a, I just one shield and one... Did you get a dagger. star? Dagger. No, oh, no thank star. God. Okay, well, I got two spears and one shield... And if you put your dice back, I know okay. they can't really, can't really be see seen, but kind of. yeah. So um, now we apply results. So uh, your one spear uh -huh. uh, goes to me. I can subtract one spear by getting rid of one of my shields. Okay. And then you subtract one of my spears with your shield, right. and that leaves only one spear. So one troop is killed. Okay. Uh, so remove, and it's your choice. No, 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 that's the elite. Get rid of the little guy. No. Well, no, oh, that would be the leader. Yeah, and he is, has that badass star. If yeah. he rolls that star, I'm screwed. So All right, and so now we continue going unless you decide do you want to retreat. 
maybe. So attacker may continue battle, must take one hit if the defender is in a settlement. You're not. Yeah. In this case, uh, the, the defender may retreat, otherwise a new round starts. Um, fuck it, let's go. All right, here we go. Get that star. Don't roll get that, that star. Oh, no, dagger. Damn it. I didn't get any hits. Uh, well, <laughs> I you, got all but you blocked. blocked. Yeah, you blocked my dagger. I though. blocked your dagger or and nothing happens. Spear you want to keep fighting? Go. So, yeah, like that, that star is the six, huh? So. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll back off. I'll, okay. I'll I'll go Do ahead I lose something or no? Mm -hmm. It's good. It is no. Just okay. I'm going to back off here. Oh, bastard. You joined your forces. <laughs> yeah. Got you. All right. All right. Um, so you're done then. That was your turn, right? Yeah, that was uh, that was my turn. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Considering his options. All right, so I'm going to use my leadership dice and pull out Paul. Okay. Well, wait a minute. Leadership does not deploy. It, it says place Paul in any legion. Oh, okay. If then, his ability yeah. does it, then and yes. It says then uh, move two different uh, legions with a leader. Hey, Deadshot, welcome. Hey, guys, how you doing today? Joe, have you watched the MK1 Peacemaker gameplay trailer? He looks great. Yes, he does. I can't wait to use him. I want to see him fight Omni Man or Homelander. That'd be sweet. And move that guy. Into and he desperately, Mortal Kombat desperately needs an update. Where you? I, yeah. What this? No, move my legion okay. here. You you have a movement? Yeah. It says place Paul in any legion, then move two different legions with a leader. Oh, my spice operations. No, you destroy another harvester. I'll damn it. Okay. And then this is no bueno. We're going to get you back. Oh, oh, crap. You're revealing that? Okay, yeah. then put that out of the game and get yourself two infantry. So, so it's two circles, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. With Paul and the big bad guy. Mm, yeah. I'm, I'm screwed. Well, we're going to try to kill as many of you as we can before we go down. All right, so I've got... What is this? This other leader doesn't do anything? The generic one? Wait. No. Yeah, the leader does do something. I think he's an extra defense result. It's, some, it's on his card. Oh, it's on his card. So generic ones just do, if they get a star, they do an extra um, stab, um, mm -hmm. spear. So you want, a lot of, you want a lot of stars when you roll. So yeah. I have three dice and you have three dice. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I got a star. Fuck. I, didn't, I got a star, but mine does nothing because I don't have a leader. So... All right. Obviously, you want now you can assign the one star to each leader. Paul sucks right yeah. now. The other guy's better. Yeah, Gunnery Helic is going to be assigned that one. So that one is two daggers and a shield. So and I did have, you roll any natural spears? Yes, yeah, so I have what well, three. So I have a total of three spears and two shields. Okay, three spears, two shields. I will use one shield. So you have two spears. So I have to kill two guys. Yep. And then uh, I do one spear to you. You block. Yeah, I block. Yeah. Now I'm retreating. <laughs> <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, smart retreat. Smart retreat. Got my butt kicked by fucking Paul and, and Gunnery. That's pretty thematic, too, because yeah, in the movie, in, in the they, movie, they yep. meet up in the, out in the desert. Uh, let's see. Um, Patrick Stewart and... Uh, oh, wait, no. That's in not the Gunnery. One. Uh, Gunnery is the guy with the beard. Yeah. Um, so this one... I don't know that actor's name. This one I have accomplished. Yes. It says, action resolution phase. In Atreides, Legion attacks a Harkonnen Legion not in a settlement. Yeah, that happened right there. And you cause at least one hit. So yep. go up uh, on the red one and go up on the green one. Or raise yep. the green token. Does he get any uh, advancements for destroying your spice harvesters? You just don't get to collect spice. I just don't get to collect the spice. Right. In at the end of the round is when my spice collection <laughs> happens. And then... This one will <coughs> go off at the end of the round. Yeah. Right. <coughs> cool. Your turn, good sir. Um, damn it. Hmm. 
My go, well. You go until you're out of dice? Yeah. And then he, when he has an action that he doesn't have to use dice, it's the desert, so he could place right. a bunch of things. Desert power. Power. Yeah. I want just warm tokens. Oops. Um, I. Uh, What's that, that dice over there do for you? You have one dice uh, Um It's house. So it will uh, let me either use this result as any other action. Uh, okay, dice. I'm going to discard that. So I'm going to discard this dice here on my board. Uh, this dice here. And use a um, planning card. Uh-huh. And it is from the Emperor. Reports of traitors. Discard one of your opponent's unused action dice with a oh, you dirty. wing symbol on it. You dirty, dirty. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, your go. All right. So, only thing I have left is Desert Powers. Desert so Powers. So, add two Worm Sign tokens. Place two Worm Sign tokens. To the board. Move two Sand Worms or attack with one Sand Worm. Okay. So, two Worm Sign. All right. You move them to or just place them? Just place them. Place them. And then now we can deploy three regular units and one leader in one or more settlements. Three regular units and one leader. So far, so good. I'm, I'm digging it. Yeah. Let's go... Here, and this one here, here. Uh, you go. All right. So place two more worm tokens. Yeah. Now, can I put it on my thing right here? Uh, I don't think you should put it on your own shit. I can put it on yours. The, you no. don't want to die. Yeah, you can put it on mine. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Put it on this harvester right here. Put more worm? Yeah. That's why I put more in God damn it. How do I move my harvesters? I don't think I can move them. I need to just get a carry all. Get a carry all. That doesn't have one. Because he shot it down with a rocket. <laughs> Bastard. Parmesan Don, what's up? Um, Thanks for that sub, man. That's pr appreciated. Much appreciated. We'll deploy units. Uh, three circles and one leader. And we'll get this captain guy out. Three circles, one leader. That already has six. That has six. Let's put them all here. And let's put the leader here. Ah, uh, go. All right, so another two worm tokens. I don't like the fact that... <laughs> You had a much better turn than, than uh, Patrick's. Because <laughs> Patrick was only able to put out like four. And you've got tons out there. All right, let me put these two right here. Okay, but I'm going to get one good thing off. Cool. Uh, and that is this battle right here. So I'm going to use the Baron dice. And he says I can use it as any other dice. And I'm going to use it as the move. Okay. So obviously all my forces are coming into there. Does that worm sign do anything to you before you move? No, it only fires off at the end. So I managed to escape that worm sign. For now. For now. And uh, so this is revealed, right? When you yeah, not yeah, but I'm still moving okay. elsewhere.
Okay, yeah, now reveal that token. So, is that, uh, so you got one elite and one troop, and then the siege is revealed, and it is worth two. Um, two, two victory points. Oh, for you, right? Mm -hmm. okay. But I think it also gives you extra dice. It's uh, you take one one spear, right? Maximum six dice. Oh, so uh, you have one, two, three, four dice, okay. and I have six dice. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. So fire. Let's attack. Yeah. I, I got oh, you got two three stars. spears and two stars. What are your stars? Do? Well, I have the Raban guy. It's two spears. Oh, wow. So I've got five spears and one block. Okay. What do you got? So I just got four spears. Wow. Holy okay. Crap. Well, That's four spears is still <laughs> pretty dudes, good. Yeah. You're yeah. tearing my guys apart. So I'm going to block one of the spears. I'm going to take three wounds. You're going to take five wounds. Yep. And I'm going to win the battle. Correct. So, um,. I take how many wounds? Three. Three. There you go. Okay. Best you could do. Mm hmm And this is destroyed, and I get two victory points on the Imperium, the Supremacy Track. One, two. Cool. Yay, I destroyed one of those damn sieges, those Fremen sieges. What? Led by Raban. SMZ, thank you, SMZ again, man. You are a very generous man. Thank you hero. so much. He said, yeah, hero, man. Sadly, I have to get off. Take care, Joe. We'll be back on if I can before the stream ends. Cool, yeah, we'll definitely be here. We're gonna play all day Saturday. We're gonna play some Judge Dread. I'm so looking forward to it. I played it like once or twice, and it was a lot of fun. And I just didn't have enough minis, didn't have enough knowledge, and that's why John is here. You bet and you he's was. going to uh, do that. Okay. So you do another worm sign thing. Yeah. So two. And then uh, the Harkonnen always go last. I have one uh, dice left. So I'm going to use my Mentat dice, which is uh, draw two planning cards, then force the Atreides to discard one card of their choice. So you, uh, where are your planning cards? The discarded. You don't have any planning cards? No. Son of a bitch. Well, whatever. Uh, I'll draw two planning cards, and my turn is over. Okay. All right, so that ends the round. Now let's see what these worms do. Um, first, we go to Desert ha Hazards. Uh, so let's go to the overhead view here. And go ahead and start flipping these tokens one by one, and I'll tell you the worms start popping up. Oh, we'll do over here? Yeah. So... Burrowing worm, when it's a sand with a little uh, bubble on it, uh -huh. it means a worm only in deep desert. So if this token was here, then a worm would appear. Okay. Otherwise, nothing. Cool. Next one, burrowing. So cool. nothing. Uh, this one here, nothing. This one here, nothing. <sighs> this one. Oh, wait. First, I think we actually put down some more tokens. Place one worm sign tokens in all desert areas with Harkonnen legions or a harvester. So we already got them. We already got them. Well, it could go. Oh, you got you yeah. got that one, and, and then the harvester. Yeah. Okay, then we're good. We're good. Uh, we just keep revealing. So this one. Oh, it is a worm. But there's Big no. Worm. There's nobody there. So luckily we got <laughs> we got lucky. Behind and him. then what about this? Oh, oh. another worm. You put another worm right here. All right. Oh, I think I got super lucky. Could there possibly be no, a I'm third bad. worm right here? Come on, come on, big perm. To Drum kill roll. Raban and his elite forces. Come on, big perm. Burrowing. Oh. oh, thank God. I got super lucky. Nice. Okay, over here. Harvester. Let's do up uh, nothing. Whew, harvester safe. This one burrowing nothing. This one worm. Big perm coming out. Boom. Now at the end of the next phase, any worms that are out on the board, you can actually take control of. Cool. So that's cool as fuck. Okay. So those boys need to get on rocks quick. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. Oh. <laughs> um. 
All right, let's see what happens. Can next. you attack the worm? I don't know. Never tried. When a sandworm is placed, roll for Cor Coriolis storms for all Harkonnen legions in vulnerable plateau, minor erg, and deserts. Yeah. So these guys are vulnerable. I need to roll for them. Mm -hmm. I roll two dice and take lots. God damn oh. it. Oh. Two spears. Oh, man. So they took losses. Anybody else in deserts? No. Okay. Uh, and then step four, spice harvesting. Discard all active bands. Uh, remove all harvesters on the boards and collect one point per desert, two point per deep desert. <laughs> so I only get one. Yeah. One spice. And you can't really do anything with one spice. Uh -huh. Because uh, you need two spice or three spice. Three spice would give me a victory point. One spice, two spice prevents um, a flag from lowering. Uh -huh. So because I was not able to pay the Lons Rod, the uh, Spacing Guild, and uh, the Emperor, they got mad at me. They go down one. But I can save every turn. I can save one spice. Oh, nice. So I'll save the spice that I gained, and I need to desperately uh, get some spice. Okay, uh, and that was spice harvesting. Okay, end of the round. The Atreides player checks whether the end of the round phase prescience cards can be claimed. Yes, this one can. Okay, go ahead and claim it. So it's move up on the board. One green and one red. Uh, Atreides win the game if the requirements of their secret object card are met. Obviously, you're not going to win on turn one. Yeah. Unless you're the best player ever. Ornithopters and carryalls are removed from the board. Well, there's... Oh, one. Wait a minute. Then one of, I should have done something with that. Oh, well. I don't know what to, how to scout. It's I got to scout. Uh, starting with Harkonnens may replace any named leaders on the boards with generic ones. I guess it's a way to pull leaders you back up. You want that guy to get dead out in the desert. Yeah, yeah. refresh all spent leader cards. So refresh the cards, and then yeah, I don't think I want dude uh, hanging out in the desert with two worms in the on desert. Him. <laughs> but let me go into the actual rules to see what the procedure is for pulling them like that. Hey, I got a call. I got to go back to base. You guys hang out out here. <laughs> yeah. Spice harvesting, movement, battles, combat rule. Uh, that's an impressive. Uh, atomics. Atomic. Uh, old man of the desert. Where? Where is that? Interesting. It's not in the rules. You have to look this up. Okay, I'm gonna give this to John. Got it. What I'm looking for. John, you see right here, end of round. Yep. It says, uh, starting with the Harkonnen, you may replace any named leaders on the board with Kay. generic ones. Okay. I need you to find that in the actual rules. Gotcha. But I can't find it. So I'm gonna replace my leader. I'm assuming it just works this way. We could just put a generic one out and yeah. take your guy. Now, I'm wondering if he has to go to the regeneration tanks first mm -hmm. or if he can just come out and you know, just go directly to the, to the board. Okay. And I'm now a, we I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to uh, uh, take my okay. uh, gunning yeah. and then put uh, the generic, generic guy out. Uh, okay. That's a, yep. All right, now we roll the dice again. All right. <laughs> and then oh, slot. A little bit of everything there. Okay. One there. And you go first. One there. One there. One there. And. Oh, so these don't these flip again? Yeah, so that goes into the discard and then bring out three new ones for your new objectives. One, two, three. 
discard piles are always face up so we don't get them confused with anything yeah, else. Yeah, but we have those ones face up. Oh, I see what yeah. you do them for. That's right. I'll put it right here on this side. Um, do collecting for the planning. Or for the planning. Yeah, planning. Yeah. Plan planting. He who controls there. the dice controls the universe. But man, that's true. <laughs> And which ones were plateau areas? Plateau areas are the light brown one. ones. Yep. yep. All right. So I would have to get, at the end of the round, mm -hmm. I would have to get three Three units. soldiers there? Yeah. Okay. If there are, if there are Astari's legions mm -hmm. in three plateau areas. <laughs> so legions have to be in there. Okay. That's going to be a daunting task. No. Uh... New hidden wind traps. Three three legions into the mountain areas. Mm. That's gonna be hard. And then reveal two deployment tokens in the same area as Paul. Mm -hmm. All of those go off on end of phase. Okay. So uh, first off, I will. Uh, going to do the minute. Mentat. 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 Let's draw two planning cards. Well, this one says three three house Astartes. Okay, so that's the green cards. cards. Okay. You're forced to draw three. One, two, Instead three, of having three. your choice. Okay. Or I could have done the other one, draw two, which right. is one, one each or two of the other ones or whatever. Okay. All is right. that it? That's it. Okay, let's see. Um... And then I flip we him over. are going to... Oh, first off, uh, John, look at the back of the rule book, the, the back page. What is the, the... How do you begin a round? Draw two planning cards, one from each deck. Reveal three presidents cards. Okay, so, uh, so also draw two more cards because at the uh, beginning we get to do our two generic planning cards that we get to draw. And then after that, we did the prescience. prescience we did that. Right. Yeah. Then no, I get to choose vehicles, right? right. Place okay. vehicles. All right. So I get four spice harvesters. So now mm -hmm. I really kick into gear because it's like, oh, shit. I better give them spice or they're going to kick my ass. And two helicopters and one carry-all. All right. So let's put the carry-all here. Let's put... Oh, shit, why wasn't I just harvesting sit right here? This looks like the easiest place to harvest. What's wrong with me? It's hard for you to get there. Shit. That was dumb. But I do want to try to get some of that juicy deep desert stuff. I'll put one. Okay, so I'll put one here, one here. Put a carry-all there to protect them. I'm going to put one here in that deep desert. And I'll put one here in this deep desert. Which is way over here. Boom. And then helicopters. Let's do a helicopter there. Or or, or, or orthonal. Man, that's like my dyslexia kicking in that I can't remember it. Orthonocopter? Ortho. Uh, ortho. See, now I got you. Yeah. <laughs> Ornithopter. Or Orn Ornithopter. 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 That's funny. Um. Um. How do you play these cards again? Just whenever you, I go, I can play one. You have to when whenever you go, you have to spend a dice to play one. Okay. Instead of using the ability. That's right. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, put one here. 
See, I think there's an error in the rule book. This like, never mentions that you well, can swap it, it. Well, and it doesn't have an in. It has an in phase, but it doesn't do it. Go through all the. It doesn't go through that fine. It's like yeah, step yeah. five. There yeah. should be a number five somewhere, yeah. but yeah. it doesn't do that. I don't know why. Yeah, because refresh all spent. Yeah. So it's like the only place it's listed in the rule book is right there on the back yeah. on the reference sheet. Yeah. That's weird. If you can tell me, John, next how to scout with an orn orn okay. ornithopter. Or scouting. Or thornicopter. What is scouting are Conan only? Yeah. What was a cinch? This is the cinch. Siege. Right? siege. No, siege is your uh, houses. Oh. The Harkonnen player can remove one ornithopter from the board at any time during their action turn to reveal a siege or all deployment tokens in a single area in a connected sector. Connected, yeah. It can reveal what? It can reveal a siege uh -huh. and or all deployment tokens in a single all area deployment. in a connected ah, sector. Ah, so that's what I had yeah. to do. And I don't have to spend a dice to do it. I just right. remove so, the helicopter yeah, yeah. and see yeah. it. So I lost a helicopter for no reason. Yeah. Bummer. Well, he was off there doing, you know, they're having a picnic. Yeah, that's what they was doing. All right, it's uh, your turn, Jay. All righty. Oh, wait. Is it? No, it's not your turn. Because that was me placing the right, vehicles right, right, I right, forgot right, to. Right, right. Then you need to do, oh, you did your Mentat first. Yeah. Now it's me. Yeah, because I haven't spent any of my dice. Okay, so it's me next. Um, let's. Yeah, I'm going to catch you by surprise right here. I'm going to use uh, uh, an Ornithopter to move two. So these guys are going to go one, two. Two. Cool. And you've got one elite, elite and one trooper. So what's the? Di it doesn't seem like there's a difference between the... Oh, Elite and the trooper. Shit. And this is a three. So you get three dice plus those guys. It's five dice. It's five dice, yeah. Good Crystal. question. What is the difference? Ask, yeah. okay. ask John. What the hell the difference okay. is between an Elite. Elite trooper and a normal trooper? Okay. Elite units, 11. Elite units. <coughs> well, what, that was a, th a three? You yeah, so you've five got dice. five dice to roll, and I've got six dice to roll. Oh, battle over here. There's elites and special elites. Special elites. I are. have the hexagons. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if he has those. Yeah, he does. Yeah, all he units gets removed from the board become available for two cases. All their units receive this one. All right, let's go ahead and roll. Okay. Jay. Ooh, that's a lot of spears. I got four hits and two blocks. All right. So How many hits and blocks you got? So I've got three blocks and two hits. Okay, I block your hits, and you give me two hits. Uh, uh, wait. Yeah. So I block your hits, and you block all mine except for one? Yep. Yeah. So I'll take one, I'll one take of my dudes out. One of your dudes. All right. And I assume you're going to keep going because you're about to give me three victory points. Yeah. Gonna have to. Oh shit, look at that. Ooh. Six kills. Alright, well, I'm you're gonna take four kills. Uh oh. I'm gonna take four? Yeah. No. Yeah. No, I'm not. Why not? Well, because Gunnery's not over there. I know, but uh, there's a regular leader which oh, okay. does one spear. So one, he does one spear, so you're oh, taking so three spears. Yeah, because you only add one dice. Yeah, yeah so bet. three okay. of my guys are down. So three, yeah. And then you lose. Yep. And that's a big one right there. So I go up on the victory um, by three spaces. One, two, three. Or is it just one for every siege destroyed? Okay, what is that? Battle? Oh, no, I spread. think that's called supremacy, and it's how the Harkonnen win the game. It's and it's like destroying a siege, so it might be attached to the battle, or it might be under supremacy. I just read that too. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying, Miss Guard. I'm trying. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. That's battles. Mm-hmm. And it's moved two different legions. Yeah. So let's do a battle yeah, over here. One, let's yeah. do the other big battle. So what's that? So you have one, two, three yep. dice, and I've got six. Yep. Two spears and a and a shield. Okay, I'll take one death. Okay. 
And then I'm giving you... Uh, that guy does two spears when I get a star. So six spears. Mm, well, you got him. Damn, battles in this is like really quick. Yeah. And that's that's a, a positive. Definitely yeah, you positive. like that? I kind of want a little bit more to battles. I always like, you know, like having cool, elaborate mechanics in the battles. See, if there's a glossary for supremacy in the back, the word supremacy. There is, 10. Page 10. Channel 10. Page 10. The Harkonnen player records any supremacy points gained by moving the supremacy marker on his track. If the marker reaches the end of the track, the Harkonnen immediately wins the game. Additionally, the track indicates when the Thrift Huat and the Fed... So right now I'm at five because I'm counting right. each one of these as one. Mm -hmm. instead, Or I'm counting each of these as whatever their numbers on the siege right. is. Maybe it's under siege. Yep. Page 10, same page. Uh, but that's my turn, uh, Jay, so it's your turn. Go ahead. All right. I want to move to a new planet. I don't like yeah, because I just kicked your ass. <laughs> yeah, you did. Uh, let me see. Let me see. This is hard as hell for a green it seems in like the beginning. It. it seems like it because I don't see anywhere where I get more troops. You know? Yeah. No, your deploys. You you do deployment. But if you're not getting to dice on your deployment, then how are you supposed to deploy? Yeah, exactly. You can use that one guy that uses that dice as any other dice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Uh, I just need to know, how many points do I get when I destroy a siege? I think it's equal to the siege number. Man, then, in that case, man, you only had to destroy, like, a couple of the sieges. So now I need five more points, so probably maybe between two, two to three sieges. Cause and that's I, because you didn't get any points from Spice. What if you got points now, from Spice? Now, once I hit five on this this track, I can't get points from Spice anymore. Right. Well, see, even even better. You but I should have gotten points from Spice right. ahead of time, but you prevented that. Right. That would have given me one boost by one point. Yeah. That's three Spice for every one point. Yeah. All right, let me see. And if that's the case, then I like the game, but it seems too, like, easy. <laughs> or it, too simple. It, it, like, I just spread out to these six sieges. Yeah. Or how many sieges do you have? Eight? Eight, yeah. And it I got to maybe like destroy four out of them? Plus, four out of eight? You got to think you're collecting spice. You but know, spice is not victory points, and spice is gonna screw me over as I don't deliver it. But you're, it's victory points early. My, it's victory points early, but you yeah. saw how quickly I by destroying but it, two. But sieges. in this case, well, it's not gonna matter now because you can't get any right victory points. I managed to kill that three-pointed siege, and that's what really got me hella boosted. And it's so easy to get infantry because you start with so many. So all I need to really do is move, 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 move. Yeah. Oh, here's the thing about replacing the guys, finally. Yeah. If they have named leaders on the board, starting with our corner player, both players may replace any named leader with a generic one. Okay, and, and a, it yeah, doesn't go into simple. so it doesn't tell me to put him in re yeah, regeneration, regeneration tank. Chamber. I think the regeneration tank is probably if I die in combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It says that that was in here. Okay. Uh, both players' dashboards feature a regeneration tank consisting track consisting of variable numbers. When a named leader are removed from the board as casualties or by the effect Hello, of Ryan a card, Hart. they go into that leftmost slot. Okay. So it's a card or a death. Okay, a card or a death. All right. Um, All right. Um, yeah. Sh 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 let me see. You know, I think I might. I'm the only thing I can see here is it's too difficult for you unless it, I'm very, cheating. It's actually Check to see if I'm cheating, John, because like. you know how I'm mo I'm double moving? Mm -hmm. So well, I'm not double moving. I'm waiting. I'm using one dice, moving an army, right. and then waiting for you, and then using a movement dice, then moving that army that I moved earlier. Mm -hmm. Right. Is it armies can only move once a whole fucking round? Or is, is it armies it? Is can only really move it? once during an action? Yeah. I think it. I've you waited can move, years for because this. Because it says two different that you haven't. Right. So you couldn't move them two times. 
but on different actions. But on so you agree yeah, yeah. with me? Okay. Yeah. I Legions do. can be moved around the board during their action resolution phase by performing a leadership or strategy action, or by playing a planning card that allows them to do so. A moving legion moves from the area it occupies to an adjacent free area containing yeah. no enemy settlements, enemy units, or sandworms. Note that a legion cannot move between the areas separated by an impassable border unless it has a troop transport. It is not mandatory to move all figures composing a legion. The active player can split the legion, choosing to move some or all of them, leaving behind the rest. Remember that leaders cannot move by themselves and must always be accompanied by at least one unit. Strat okay. I so I can do it every Both time I play a and card. leadership actions are allow the act to move two different legions in the same turn yeah. or even more right two different legions okay well then there should be a quick i should be able to probably kill you here in the next 30 minutes or well anyway we'll cut it off hard cut off at uh, at 1 p.m and then we'll move to judge dread man this is this is horrible it's hard for you right yeah. like i don't see how because plus you're not rolling deployment dice Let's say yeah. you, if you no, rolled a bunch of deployment dice, then yeah, it's yeah, a little maybe. better. But I hate games where you're kind of screwed over by but if I, the uh, dice that yeah. you don't roll. If I if I do get deployment dice, it's only w like how many guys uh, per one dice? Deploy one leader and a deployment token. Right. Yeah, but and then that takes away from somewhere else. So like I can't move them. I just put mm -hmm. them on there. I still have to come in. And it takes away from your because you only yeah. have four action dice. Yeah, you only have four dice. So what the, the the most you can put out is two tokens and whatever. Mm -hmm. And the tokens are coming from the, the that ba bag, they, not yeah, those. they would come from yeah. Um, and this this is hard hard. Okay. To to achieve this yeah. kind of victory goal, um, there's a way to mitigate that. But so what's it, what's hard. supposed to be in the game is you're supposed to be weak. And then as we go along, you're going to get stronger and stronger. But yeah, we'll but see it. I happen. think it's, I yeah, I think it's, it's too far towards the end that I get strong. You know? Now, it, you see along the track, I think as you go up along your track, uh. people are supposed to be born. Like a, uh, the uh, Paul's sister is supposed to be born. And like, you know, you're supposed to get things as you go along uh, the track. Well, I'm, I haven't really moved too much. So this might be something, but because I've reached that, I don't know what that is. Yeah. But. All right, so what was I doing? I was moving three, so I moved those two. Uh, we're gonna have to move these guys. Move these guys in. All right, that's my my strategy. Okay. That's really it. And see, so yeah, like that's. Yeah. That's it. And that's and then look at nothing. me. Look at how easy this is. I'm going to. Well, I'm limited a little as well. Move two different legions. I'm gonna move these guys right here from here to here yeah and i'm trying to get closer to this so i could potentially win the game in fact look at this oh no i was going to use my helicopter you owe me five dollars so he's I'll only here back to my house. here I don't want none of that. that would be I'll that back to my house and then all of a flippy sudden, meester thank you for being pants. with us for 97 months Holy shit, I don't even know how long 97 months and Reinhardt is. Reinhardt jumped in too. And Reinhardt, yeah, gave credit to Reinhardt, brand new subscriber. So you got a brand new soldier, and one soldier's been with it. What is 97 divided by 12, chat? That shit, what? Flippy. Hello, what the fuck? <laughs> Flippy. But it, now if you look, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of exhausted too. I don't, like, once I go through this. I mean, that's pretty open that way. What? Here? Yeah. Yeah, but I gotta walk through all that with a bunch of worms. You These guys are you, dead. You move them over in one, and you gotta next turn you put a helicopter there and you can go to you're pretty much there. Why did I Where's my other helicopter? You only get one this turn. Oh I used it over here. Oh yeah, yeah. To get those right. guys. That's right. Um Okay. So eight years, one month. Oh wow, man, that's awesome! You Thank you so much, Flippy, my man. Well, I'm kind of disappointed in is there's regular troops and elite troops, and there's nothing I can find. I'm still digging. <laughs> What's the difference? Yeah, What's the, the difference? fucking difference? And then, and then there's there's the a special, special elite well, troops. Well, yeah, the Fredekin. Those are really special. Fredekin, yeah, yeah, they're supposed to be badasses. Now we know leaders. When you roll the diamond, yeah, you, you get whatever, whatever is at the bottom of the card. Correct. Uh 
but we don't know elites. Well, here's something too for your free actions. Mm -hmm. The Atreides get guerrilla training. The Atreides player can reveal any number of deployment tokens on the board at any time during their action turn. When this happens, the Atreides player simply flips it to show its hidden side, placing. So you can. But yeah, that's, he that wouldn't make, want to do no, that. No, no, it wouldn't make, make sense. He, but yeah. you can't. It, 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 there's certain cards that if you do it, it gives them a bonus. Yeah. But it's okay. I'm gonna move there. Your turn. All right. I guess we got the worms moving worms. Oh, and you can sand ride the worms, but that's. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You can take your troops, and ride the worms. Oh yeah. Yeah. So why don't we try to do that? Yeah, let's try to do ask, that. Ask, ask John when, how to When the Atreides player performs an action to move a legion, they can increase its movement by exploiting the presence of worm sign tokens and sandworms. An Atreides legion moving out of an area adjacent to a worm sign token or a sandworm can move across any number of adjacent consecutive areas containing worm sign, ending their movement in an area adjacent to one of these worm sign tokens or sandworms. The final destination may contain a worm sign, but not a sandworm. Okay, so he could do this, John. He can go, I'm going to move mm -hmm. here, and then that's a free movement here because I'm riding the worm. Yeah. A sand that's riding legion cannot move across areas containing enemy legions. Yeah. Yeah, but, but I can it can, it can, can be used to attack. Yeah. yeah. So like I'm saying, yeah, if he moves that. one space, normally he would have to stop here. Mm -hmm. But because there's a worm, he can use the worm to move here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you yeah. can it just makes you faster. Too. And you can do worm sign, too. A worm what? Uh, you, you can, can do the tokens. The token if there was the a token there, yeah. you can do it the same way, so you can ride that token. Oh, okay. Well, that, that, that definitely helps. Yeah, that does help. Um, let me ride the worm and kill those those two. Okay. Try to, yeah. It's two elites. Which don't do nothing. Well, he's like it. well I've got a super <laughs> elite. What does a super <laughs> elite do? <laughs> All right, so two dice versus one dice, right? Uh, yes. I got one spear. I got a spear and a star, which gives me two spears. Okay, you wipe me out, and I only kill one of yours. Now he goes in the reg 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 regeneration chamber. Regeneration chamber. Farthest I think left. generic leaders don't. Oh, I thought that was a dude in there, wasn't there? Yeah, it's a leader, but it's a generic leader. Oh, he yeah, yeah. No, no, I thought you had your name guy. You swapped him out, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Good for you, otherwise yeah. he been. Yeah, he's, I swapped him out earlier. So generic leaders don't go in the tubes? No. Okay. Or tanks. Cool. All right. Atreides Main used the worm. Only. Got it. So, Atreides, you did the movie thing. Yay. All right. <laughs> I wish it was cooler, but yeah. <laughs> I know, right? It's pretty anticlimactic. Yeah. All right. Um, well, in the interest of trying to end this game sooner, yeah. I'm going to go to my board. I'm going to spend this dice, and it says move. Two different legions with the leader. Um, yeah. So I should be able to attack and win the game, possibly right here. So moving this force into here, revealing the siege. It's only a one. All right. So you get one dice, and I get um, five dice. I win. Yeah, you gotcha. And I block one hit. Aha! What? Sadakar and Fedekin units. Yeah. The presence of special elite units lowers the opponent's defenses. Mm -hmm. Immediately before removing casualties, oh, each Sadakar or Fedekin remove cancel, shields. cancel one shield or so from the opponent's combat roll. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's something for the special elites. Mm -hmm. Special elites do that, yeah, but yeah, what yeah. are the normal elites? Yeah, we're, we're we still don't know. Picking those up. Okay. All right. But uh, let's, John, more more pressing is what our symbols on our boards are. Okay. So I have two symbols on my supremacy, and Atreides has symbols on his yeah. uh, prescience track. Okay. So that was on page 10, I think, wasn't it, for mm. supremacy? Yeah. It's pro no, those those tracks right there, right there, top of yep, the yep, page, yep. right there. Our corner player records any supremacy points gained by moving. If the marker reaches the end of the track, he wins. Additionally, the track indicates when Thuf... Hawat mm -hmm. and Fed Rahfu, yeah. two important leaders, interplay, as explained on their leader cards. Uh, okay. So, ch so check those cards, and I'll tell you when it gets comes okay, up. Okay, yeah. Uh, and the Atreides, uh, there's three markers on yours. Yeah. Uh, 
indicates when Paul Moadib, Reverend Mother Jessica Ch Chani, and uh, Aliyah uh, interplay when the player okay. powerful family Thomas can detonate. Okay, yeah, it's it's on the card, so it says right here when it reaches that that little symbol step one. I already reached that, so that guy enters play. So this is Thufwat right here, and then I just reached the second symbol, and the second symbol is Fade. There he is. There's uh, there's Sting. This is what Sting looks like in the board game. He's got an afro. Fade. fade. And that's uh, Austin Butler in the upcoming movie. If you didn't know, Austin Butler played uh, Elvis in the movie oh, Elvis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, right, so Elvis is the crazy guy. These three would, uh, would uh, come on. You got three already? Yeah. yeah. In that first one, you get those three. Okay. Or first, yeah. First yeah, you just pull, pull their miniatures. Yeah. But... Um, And then there are these little crosses. I wonder what these crosses are. <coughs> um, whose turn was it? Uh, well, I just attacked. Yeah, yeah so right? that's my turn. So uh, hold on, I have two di moved two different legions. So I moved that one yeah, legion that into one. there, and then the second one. Let's get these guys closer to attacking you here. All right, your turn. Let's check. Let's check. All right. So I need four more points, which is. More than likely, two more sieges destroyed. Ah, here's the thing for elites. Okay. Both players starting with the attacker proceed to remove casualties based on the number of hits their legion suffered. For each hit is scored by the opponent, the player must choose one of the following possibilities. One, remove a regular unit. Oh, regular units. Get two, killed. replace an elite unit with a regular unit. Oh, uh, they're two health units. Yeah. Got it. Or remove one leader, generic or normal named. Got it. So there's there's your ability for elites Two health units. and leaders and, and, and the special elites. And the yeah. special elite. Yeah, you can. You, it you says you can remove one regular unit, yeah. or replace elite unit with a regular, or remove a leader. Yeah. So when you have a casualty, you do that. Yeah. And yeah. then your specials. Well, leaders are one health. Yeah. yeah. And and your and your specials. The special elite hexagons. Block a defense. Yeah. Block a, or so remove one of the defense. Yeah. So there's your elite. So okay. actually, when so you we've been playing battle slightly wrong, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. but generally yeah, yeah, the same. You just sped yeah. up your battles, is all. Yeah. Because yeah. because an elite guy would have been down to a regular down at the sea. Right. right. They can hang on longer. All right. I knew so I'd be in there somewhere. I'm gonna <laughs> do the move to sandworms. So I'm gonna move here. here. No, you don't move the sandworms. I yeah, I said I can move two sandworms. Holy shit! Why haven't you been doing that? Because I want to uh, see what there the was sandworms no do. Last turn there was no sandworms, so this is the okay, first turn. Okay, so yeah, sandworms. and that's going to be a uh, Coriolis effect on these guys. At the way. end of the round, right? Yeah. Okay, and then so you can, and then once I do something, you can do it again and kill these guys. Yeah. Well, obviously I'm going to try to move them, but I don't have a dice that moves them, so I'm going to have to use. This guy, which I can only use once, use this die result as any other result, and I'm going to use it as a uh, move two different legions to save these guys right here from that worm, and then move these guys one step closer to potentially winning. And it's your turn. Now, can you move that worm over to there? Chase those other piles. Move this worm and that worm and that worm. Yeah. All right, so I will. I'm going to draw a planning card. Yeah. And then play a planning card. Okay. Paul Trades or no, Jessica? Yeah, Lady Jessica. Oh, 
Wow, that's wild. <laughs> All right, so we're going to use this one. Um, if Harkonnen Legion is within two areas of a stench, mm -hmm. place one deployment to token in that stench. That I don't have any of this. This one right oh. here. Well, so. that one too. Actually, that one. And do what? Here. Place it just to place the de and uh, place the deployment token, and then um, draw another planning card. Well, that's pretty sweet. All right. So you're preparing your defense. Uh, yeah, because you're kicking my butt. Yeah. This one goes away. But I think. Yeah. So if I just capture these two, I think the game's yeah. over. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. We might be able to do it here in the next 15 uh, minutes. Yeah. Go fast. Go. That's it. Oh, it's me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, deploy three regular units, planning cards, um, replace units on the board with elite units. So I got nothing else that's going to move me, unfortunately, so I won't be able to win this turn. But next turn, I think I can get it. Uh, so let me just do the rest of these, which is replace two regular units with two elite units. And I'll use Baron, which is replace three with three. So three squares. And I'll do it here, upgrading those guys. Nice. And it's your turn. I got three dice left. You have one dice left and your uh, desert actions. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to use this leadership to to um, play, do this uh, planning card. It says, place two sandworms in empty desert areas of your choice <laughs> uh, that are adjacent to areas containing uh, Astari's legions. Does Fade kill Raban? <laughs> I wonder if in the lore, Fade kills Raban. Because it says, when he enters play, remove Beast Raban from the game. I wonder if that's gonna happen in the movie. There's my, there's my uh, worms, my big worms. Oh, how how did you get worms on the board? Uh, with this planning card. Oh, screw you! Put Place it on the green screen. Yeah. And it's called what? Dumpers. Dumpers. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Okay. It had to be empty spaces, but. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. All right, well I'll uh I'll do this again. Upgrade upgrade two regular units or place two vehicles of your choice on the board. Oh, I don't know. I could That's do pretty that. nice. Let's do that. Let's get these helicopters. Oh no, because the helicopters get removed at the at end. The end. Yeah, so you probably want to do that first. Yeah, I should have. Yeah. I had no idea I had that ability. I'm gonna replace two circles with um these guys Squares. are probably going to die, so uh, let's get that circle. There you go. Your turn. Alrighty. So I don't have anything, so I can move two sandworms. Okay. So How does a sandworm... No, 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 move this one to here to give a Coriolis effect and move that one in. Well, no, the... The sandworms don't do the Coriolis effect. The Coriolis effect just happens all on the board. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and moving that there won't do anything because yeah. These yeah, guys but, but, are, but if you move out, if I move attack, out, yeah. yeah, and this guy can attack into there. Yeah, but See, so just in case they, he, he kills them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's do it one at a time. Let's do this first. All right. How does the work? How does sandworms yeah. moving into battle work? Um. Sandworms, we'll look at uh, Sandworm, page 13 and 30. Let's go to 30. Sandworms mainly appear in the desert. If a sandworm is placed on the board, okay, you can move sandworms and attack with them during a desert power. Sandworm attack. To attack with a sandworm, the Atreides player removes its figure and, star and targets an area up to two areas away. Oh. Oh, so you don't even need to get it. Um, the first area must be a desert. 
The target of the attack can be an enemy legion and or a harvester. In the case of a legion, also in a plateau or minor erg within range, though not in a mountain area. So the plateaus count as well. Attacking harvesters. Attacking legions. If a sandworm attacks an area containing a legion, the Atreides player rolls four combat dice for a regular sandworm and six combat dice for the Shahalud. So these are regulars. Regulars, yeah. All right, so uh, go ahead and roll four dice for this one. So three and a shield. Three speakers and a shield. All right, do I get to do anything or do you just kill me? Kill me. Um, what are we doing? Okay, uh, if it's a desert, one hit. If it's a deep desert, two hit on these uh, stars, but you didn't get any stars. The Harkonnen player must immediately remove any casualties. If the attack eliminates all enemy units, the area contains a harvest. The harvester is also removed. All right, so how many? Two? Uh, three. Three uh, spears. Three spears, and, and how do these square guys work? Now they go to regulars. They get do knocked down a level. Okay, so all three of them we go to can regulars. go to yeah. regulars. Yeah. All right. So that was this one. Then this sandworm is removed. Okay. All right. Next. Uh, what did this the sandworm? Yeah. Okay. Attack. Attack. And two, two spears. Two spears, these guys are dead. That's it? Damn. Uh, you took it off? Okay. Yep. Okay. All right, That's let's do, deploy three regular units or one leader in one or more settlements. So I'll bring out Fade. I don't want to look for him. Oh, fuck it. I'll look at him. There he is. Fade. And... Three regular units. And it's got to go into a settlement. I guess we'll go here with Fade. And your turn. All right. So um, that's your last turn. Yeah. Let's uh, move two sandworms. Move him over one. Yep. And then he can attack two spaces away, so he'll kill the harvester. Um, you are correct. Two spaces? It's weird. That That's what you said. Uh, That's what I said. Read attacking harvesters right there. Um, I might have to roll. You done? I might have to roll for that. Oh, yeah. I think you do have to roll. Uh, if a sandworm attacks an area that contains only a harvester, both the harvester and sandworm are removed. No roll is required. Okay. Does he have to get into the space, or can it still be that two spaces? with the sandworm, the Atreides player removes his figure and tar targets an area up to two areas away. Okay. Yeah. If the sandworm attacks so in the distance of two areas... So basically, your army is supplemented by one. Yeah. And yeah. it says, if the sandworm attacks at a distance of two areas, the first area must be a desert. The first area is attacking from? No, no. The, 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 if the sandworm attacks at a distance of two areas away, yeah. the first one it crosses... Oh, got it. Can, it has, be a and then it, this the can be whatever. Target of the attack can be an enemy legion and or harvester in any desert area. Cool. Or in case of a legion, also in any plateau... Oh, mm -hmm. so I can yeah, attack so there. Or minor attack erg area within range. Not mountain. Yeah. I'll attack there. Though not in a mountain area. Right. Yeah. Well, you already, you moved one of the worms right. and you attacked with that. That's two. Two spaces, right. That's two movements, two actions. You can't move all your worms oh, wait, wait. every single attack turn. With, yeah. Do you want to take back that movement and hit me there? That doesn't matter. That's okay. Fine. All right. That's right. Uh, the yeah. last one is draw two planning cards and increase one Imperium marker on your step. I'll increase one Imperium marker and draw two cards. All right. <laughs> All right. End of turn. What? What turn is this? This turn two. Three. Two. Three. two. Yeah, so starting now we're moving two. on. Or starting three. Well, we're not moving on yet because we have to do the end of phase thing, right? Oh, yeah. So place a worm sign, uh, Jay, uh, on these guys because they're out. They're out in the desert. Yeah. And those guys. And these guys. And give me a worm sign for this harvester. 
and those two harvesters. All harvesters get one automatically because they're making noise out here. Okay, and then we reveal these worm signs. So let's see. Is this a worm? It is not. No, no big perm. Okay, is this a worm? It is not. My harvester. I need spice. It is not Ooh. safe. This harvester. It's a burrow, but burrow only works in deep. Yep. So I'm safe. Last one. Burrow, I'm safe. Dang. Okay. Uh, it, see, check the back of the rule book uh, for uh, the procedure uh, of the end game procedure. So we did the worm sign. End of round? Yeah, end of round. And the player checks whether revealed end of round phase present cards can be claimed. There's tardy. Yeah, did you, you can you claim any prescient cards? Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Okay, uh, the then we did the sandworms. In the same area as Paul. Do the, do oh, the sandworms on the board get to move? I can do that one. Uh, okay. What are you going to do? So I reveal those two tokens. Reveal these two tokens. In the boom, same area boom. of Paul. And get a, uh, this is your first hexagon. Oh. One hexagon, one square, and two circles. Two circles. All right. Let's get a hex. Spice harvesting. Discard active bands. Remove harvesters. So this is, I get two spice for this one over here, and I get one spice for each of these. So that is four spice total. All these helicopters and carryalls are removed. Now, unfortunately, because I have so many victory points, I can't trade in spice for victory points anymore. Instead, um, I have to spend two spice to prevent flags from going down a level and three spice to move them up a level. So this will go down one level. These two will stay here with my four spice. Okay. So my flags all went down. This one was here. It went down a level. I spent two spice to keep that flag there and two spice to keep that flag down. Oh, okay. there. But I only can have four, so then this one went there. All right. Okay, now I'm about to win. Um, hopefully, I'm about to win the game. Uh, let's see. That's a lot of forces. <laughs> I don't think I can beat it. Unless I do have a lot of cool trickeries that I can yeah, there you go. screw around with. So let's roll the action dice. Yep. Let's do this one. And then slot it. And see if I can win this thing real quick. And we can go move on here. All right. So, I get two helicopters, one carry-all, and four spice. So, for the uh, four spice, I put one here again. Mm. I'll put one here. Oh, I'll put one here. I'll put one here. <laughs> and I'll put one here because <laughs> I'm banking that I'm going to kill those guys. And then my <coughs> helicopters... Get two helicopters. I'm gonna make these guys go faster. Or you need a big one if you want to transport. No, no. The oh. carryalls are picking up harvesters. Yeah. So thank you for reminding me. I need a carry all there to try to save them in case something happens there. And then these guys can move too, if I have that there. Okay. We are good. All right, so let's see. Uh, the Atreides has the first turn. All right. Don't screw with my plans. I'll try not to. I'm going to use desert power. Uh, yep. And I will attack with the sandwich. Son of a bitch. Which sandworm? That one over there? The, yeah, that one right there. Okay, go ahead and hit me. We'll hit me you. for, what is it, three four, dice four or dice. four dice? Four dice. Uh, geez. Two spears. Two kills. Dundas. Darn it. They just go down to special, but they go down to regular. Yeah. Do run regular. Okay. This guy's removed. Yep. All here, right. Here you go. 
All right, let's see. Uh, is there a way I can do this in one turn? We just need to get two sieges. That goes there. If I put a helicopter here. Actually, let me put my helicopter here. Okay. So, I'm going to move. Move and attack with the Legion containing f free. Um, I'll move two different Legions. So, this Legion will move one, two spaces with the helicopter. And this Legion will move... Might as well just attack oh, you're him. Oh, you're right. Okay, you're right. Yeah. I'm just going to go one and we'll attack there. Reveal that. Is one square. One square. That's it. All right, roll one dice and yep. I'll roll five. That's healed. And get, you get, are. Get you one. You're dead. That's shield. Um, so. How many? Well, what do you got? Okay, I did. Uh, with this guy is two. So the star is two. So four attacks. Four attacks. Yeah. And one block. So one blocked. One, two, three. Okay. You got him for one? No, I just had those two. Okay, just the shield. That's it. Um, that is my turn. What's what's surprise attack do? I don't know. It's it's in the he's listed separately. I'm probably going to the glossary. Yeah. And if you can tell me what the Sato car is, is the Sato car my squares or my hexes? When making a surprise attack, only for the first round of the battle, the attacking player adds one star result to their combat roll. Oh, nice. okay. After resolving the combat roll, both players remove any casualties. The attacking player then must decide whether or not to continue the battle. La, la, la. Okay. But you get you get a free star. Gotcha. The attacking player does, right? Yeah. yeah. Correct. Okay. All right, so... So I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, take a desert power action, then make, then move or make a surprise attack with a legion with a leader. Okay, so how does he come out? You have to deploy your your guys uh, first. Remember with the deployment dice. Deploy, oh, deploy our leader. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. Man, that's fine. Um, I could still do that though. <coughs> Actually, let's no, let's do this. Here we go. So we'll do um, the deployment. Okay. And I I'll draw two deployment tokens. Um, yep. Deploy one of them, and a leader. Mm -hmm. uh, two deployment tokens. Yeah. That's a lot of forces. In the same stench. Siege. Siege. Whatever. In the Did same siege. Did you do the storms on these two guys? Well, oh, these guys were on the thing. Yeah, those guys were on the thing. Those guys, I did not do the Coriolis storm. One kill. All right, so that's there. And the leader. Oh, I could, it could be a named one. So I'll put yeah. In. Oh, and if, if you roll a star? Hmm? It's a variable attack. If a steep desert is two hits, desert one, one hit. hit. Minor Urga plateau is no hits. Gotcha. All right. That's it. All right. For the win. Here we go. I move two legions. That means I can move into two siege areas. And let's see if we can win this right now. Yeah. 
So this will go into here, and this will go into here. And if I win these battles, I'm pretty sure I'm about to win the game. Um, let's start over here first. This is a two. two. So you roll two dice, and I roll three. Uh, three. Yeah, yeah, I roll three. I got a star and two spears, so that equals four spears and one shield. Okay, so um, you beat Okay. And, get the, get and then you take here. one. Two, two more. Yeah, that's here. what the special yeah. was. The two. Oh, the, yeah. Is two fade? Yeah, that's fade. Oh, okay. Fade did it. So one, two. I'm two victory points away from winning. I hope that's one. And let's see <laughs> what this one is. Two super elites. You elite. get two. Ooh, you get two super elites over here. Damn it. Is it two? Yeah. Three. It's three. Three for the win. So he gets five dice. Yeah, I think so. Why does he get five dice, though? He only he has, has two three, units. And yeah. the three from here. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, five dice. Versus yeah. my and, uh, five dice. And that's Paul Muhadib. Deep. Oh, is that Paul Muhadib? Yeah. Oh, shit. And I ha it's Paul Muhadib versus Count Fenring. Here's and he my makes Count a Fenring. And he makes a, prize, a surprise attack. With no. no, I have to, I have oh, to activate Paul, that's like Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm attacking him. Oh, that's right, because you're more deep. Yeah. Oh! Got my that's two, four, six, seven, because of my guy's special ability. Well, he's got, it says take a, take a that desert. Well, which no, one no, that's, that's only when you're activating. Only, yeah, that's only when you activate. The only thing we ma that this matters right now is that bottom row. Oh, so which is two spears and a shield. So I just got seven hits All right, so with the star. So your seven hits. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh my God! And then how did you block so? That's block five. You block five, right? Because yeah. of the Sadu car. And then the Sadu car go down. Is that right? Or the uh, uh, Freeman. Okay. Yeah, and then these guys go down. Uh, two special. Oh. I I'm giving him seven seven hits. Two hits went through. Yeah. Okay, so now so become special elite. Then yeah. They become elites. They become elites. elites. Are you sure? Yeah. I know elites have that ability, but I don't think the hexes have that ability. In addition to I'll having see. the delete a I'll see, I'll see. thing. Yeah. So I think these go down. But we'll right. we'll double check. The and then how much spears did you do to me? So I did. Because I have no defense. Uh, four. Four. Okay, then that means these three go down to normals, and I lose one. Three. Yeah, replace one elite unit, special or not. Special so, or so, not. So now they're, spe now they're just elite units. Okay. There you go. Wait, no, they're not elites. Yeah. They go down to regulars. No, uh, oh, that's right. They go down to regulars. Okay. They go down to regulars. Yeah. Sorry. That's right. All right, so we got one more round of combat here. Yeah. You got five dice, and I've got four dice now. Yeah. Shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on. No, not bad. Oh, I got nothing but blocks. Oh, four really? blocks. So I've got three. Oh, thank you. it's a wash. Yeah. And roll again. There we go. Three blocks and one spear. Uh, three spears. And two blocks. It's a wash. Oh, damn it. Two and two. There we go. There it uh -oh. is. Oh, oh, uh -oh. oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh. One, two, three, four, five spears and one block. Yeah, but I win. Five spears. Five spears? Yeah. Five spears, yeah. Five spears. I could delete. Two, uh, two of those five spears, so I take three, three damage. Yeah. One, two, three. Nice. Now I do two to you, and leaders, when they're by themselves, die. So he goes into the regeneration. Yeah. No. Muad'Dib goes no. into the regeneration. I, you only do one to me. No, I get two spears. I got one block. <laughs> he just block oh, well, you got one block. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah. Bastard. All right, one die to one die, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> one no, to start. one to four. Yeah. Because I still got the siege. 
Oh, the fucking siege is so powerful. <laughs> Damn. That might be the difference. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Star. Two kills. All right, so I got two blocks. No, the two blocks did it. And four kills. Oh. oh. So Take my in, guy and go into the regeneration tank. Yeah, he was um, this guy right here he killed. Count Fenrig. It's only because, Moore, dude, you mounted an epic defense, a cinematic defense right. right there. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. That was really helpful from the card. I think played. we can end it there, though, because yeah. uh, yeah, yeah. I'm probably going to win. All I need to do is get one more siege sure. and or re-attack that one. And because I've got so many harvesters on the board, I get plenty of spies. I don't see, man, Atreides is really difficult. It's but hard. maybe knowing what you know now with the worms and stuff, yeah. it can yeah. be a little bit yeah, better. Start popping, but I, I clearly think Atreides has it tougher. It does, especially in the beginning. Yeah. Especially now it's starting to. It's but starting to it, turn. But it's too, it's but it's too, too late. late yeah, it's kind of too late. You can't fucking defend all these at yeah. once. I mean, yeah. you can try. But. Now that I know that the, the worms really augment your, your force. I like it. Yeah. It's like an it. asymmetrical like it. war game, and I would like to play the four-player version with <laughs> the two allies coming in and yeah. seeing how that varies it up. But It's a good game night game. Yeah. It's a good, you know, board night game night. Yeah. Board game night. All right. Time to put it up. All righty. This is the uh, most uh, – this is the longest process. This could be longer than the game. This could be longer than the game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Time to put it up. Uh, this one there. Okay, I'll, I'll give you all the dudes. Okay, give me all the dudes. Well, He's he, the dudes, he dudes, needs right? the... Um, I got the box over here. You got the legend? Yep. Okay. I'm doing mine <coughs> by memory. Yeah, and Judge this, Dredd is up next. This, uh, I had to get nine of these. Uh, nine? Yeah. Damn. And then the other two were like four and oh, six, okay. but still That's nine a little of the one that I was getting the less of or well, had the opportunity to get the less of. Right. Or the least of. Okay. Yeah, it's 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 up up uphill battle. Seems tough for sure. Set pretty high for this side. Atreides? Yeah. I feel like Archon and have an easier time. It's just a little more simple. It's like you know what to do, you just yeah. do it. Yeah, plus, plus, uh, you know, first first game is a le le learning curve, so. The enemy. Now you gotta go read the books, James. Son of God. Yeah, there's six books, and, uh, the first book are the two films that are, are about to be out. And the second book is, uh, Denis said that he would like to do the second book, which is called Messiah. Messiah, yep. Um, and there is a Netflix TV special that does the third book, Children of Dune, which gets pretty wild. Uh, Paul's son, Leto, becomes a sandworm <laughs> and rules the galaxy for thousands of years. What? Yeah. And he's like a purposefully oppressive ruler because he's trying to prepare humanity for a even bigger threat that's on its way. 
unfortunately frank herbert passed away before he could do that that final thing yeah. but his son took over the story but you know frank is that's not frank it's not his story and his son's like well, yeah but i'm using his nose yeah but we don't care your writing style's different blah 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 well, that, yeah. that shit matter. uh so it turns out this big threat that was on the way was ai and it kind of makes sense because this universe have mentats like they're not mentats are people like just humans that are augmented with spice that do all the calculations and their eyes turn white because yeah. uh-huh. they're not allowed to have you know uh, AI because of how dangerous it is. So I was like, okay, well, I guess that makes sense. What did these other red ones go on? Two red ones. I'm missing uh, some guys. There. I guess it fits. What is my magic? I lost your game for you. <laughs> but you, you were on the losing. losing Where's the anyway. Yeah, position. it's hard. Well, you start off like already like Hard. behind. Yeah, yeah, we 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 proved that it's definitely tougher. I think it's definitely tougher to play as the um, the Atreides. <laughs> But it should be, honestly. Thematically, think, it yeah, should be. Yeah. If it's asymmetrical player player powers, I don't have any problem with one being more difficult. What up, Trish? Trish time. Tristine. Tristine. What about these? Do those go those in yours? Yeah. Because I don't have a slot for those. They go in wherever the... They go in with in there. They go in here. Oh, I see right here. Mm. And I see right here, but I don't see these. Right here. Oh, you're right. Oh, no, 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 no. Never mind. She's the different. She's this one. And this is probably Paul and Paul. They get the wrong Paul. Here are all the counters in that bag. Oh, Paul Atreides is there. There he is. And he goes there. There we go. And then all the cards go in there, I guess. And this stacks because the big dude's there. Mm hmm. So this goes on top of that. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it does. It's this one. Bottom yeah. tray. Oh, this is the top tray. This is the top tray. Bottom you got tray. These, these ones too. Yeah. Bottom yeah. tray. Bottom middle. Yeah. Yeah. There's the bottom tray. There we go. That's the bottom tray. Bottom tray. Bottom tray. Middle. Record. Record time. Never <laughs> good. Yep. That. Look at that. I think these probably are. Uh, no, they weren't in here. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I think those were like... Cards are going on top of that. There's your box. Kay. I'll step off and start getting stuff up here. Yes, yeah, sir. Going. Good, good. Oh, Trish Tom was asking, who's the guy in the red? He is with Warlord Gaming. Is John? John? Yeah. John. He's Warlord the North, North American uh, events representative. <laughs> Didn't hear him. What did he say? He said Fubar. So it's only that. Fubar? <laughs> yeah, it's only that. He has been on before. Yeah. Yeah. We played um, play? uh, Blood Sun Red, Red Skies. Skies. That's yeah. what it was. And then one game, uh, we played the Siege game. The Did we play Quill Siege? I think no. we played like one instance, maybe. I don't know. May, or of maybe what? that was with Joe. No, we didn't. No. We didn't play Quill Siege. All right, so that one doesn't have a cover, huh? Oh, yeah, it was with the planes. That's right. Yeah, Blood Red Skies. Is that the top tray? 
Top three, yeah, okay. Nice. How big is this box? <laughs> Pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> Came with a lot. Yeah. Sure did. Yeah. The minis are, are but I think classy. I should have put very nice that in there first. Put uh, put the board in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. You good? Fit. Life has been, uh, I'm just glad, I'm just going to say I'm glad the holidays are over. <laughs> it's fucking pretty hectic. Yeah. Don't forget the last, book. Last, last Trish right. time last week, right. a lot of people don't think about the Super Bowl being a holiday and Valentine's being a holiday, and it's in the same week for us. So I was like setting up displays, Perfect tearing though. down displays, just fucking back and forth, back and forth, fucking... Last minute shoppers everywhere for flowers. <laughs> Last minute shoppers for fucking so, so many goddamn chips and dips. Okay, I'll we'll we'll be right back. All right. Yeah, me too. It is. It is all about making money. You're right. Uh, yeah, I fucking worn out from, and then just this week was a lot of call outs. We had a lot of people, uh, sick and a couple people on medical leave. So whereas we're like usually like a team of like, it can be up to like a team of 10 people. Like we only had a team of like three people this whole week, which is goddamn garbage. Um, stick trying. I'm trying to stick positive, and it's gonna be better next week. I do have a week coming off. Or I do have a week coming up. I do have a week off coming up. <laughs> Sorry, I just woke up. Uh, so I do have like a little time off plan just to, cause you gotta physically recover. I think from about. Manual labor is, is very taxing on the body, especially as you get older. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, you gotta you gotta take care of your body. You gotta stretch, drink water, all that stuff. I'm drinking tea today. I had a good amount of water this morning. Chug, try to do like a chug of at least two glasses in the morning. Yeah, I'm definitely getting hit by the soreness today. I took, uh, woke up and had two uh, ibuprofens and two, what is it, acetophilamine, acetophilamine, mean, something like whatever. <sighs> but yeah, today we're just hanging out, sitting down, no manual labor, and playing some games. First time I haven't seen you in a while. What have you been up to, man? Man, <laughs> MTG, man. I haven't played that in a while. Didn't they just come out with like Lord of the Rings cards? And they had the, they had the One Ring, and uh, Post Malone bought it up. I saw that on the, on, on the interwebs, huh? He sold it again? What? He paid a lot for it. I think he sold it Did he? Oh, my God. Because he bought it for, like, a crazy price. It was, like, in the millions, I think, right? Yeah. You got yourself a missus? What? No. <laughs> Trish time. <laughs> Sorry, I was reading chat. Busy, busy, man. Well, congratulations. Wonton, welcome. Oh, 
we lost we lost chat. <laughs> it's all good. I can look at it on. Oh, sorry. Oh, he didn't sell it. Just I was saying. I feel like he wouldn't sell it because he's like he paid. He paid. Uh, I don't know. I just saw like the video of him buying it from the guy. He takes it to events, like his concerts. He takes the <laughs> ring to, to all his guys. He just holds it up. <laughs> Look, everybody. <laughs> hey, man, if you're gonna spend two mil on it, he needs the uh, Magic the Gathering events. Uh, I guess that makes sense. More sense. He would. Well, it would be pretty cool if he like made a chain out of it. It's like a two million dollar chain, just a. a yeah. <laughs> Wonton Sushi, I saw you up there too. What's up, Wonton? Welcome. Thanks for hanging out with us, man. Yeah, he came in last night hanging out with us too. And so did this guy named Chulu J. <laughs> Cholo J. Right. Iver River? Iver? Iver? Iver River? Uh, we don't. Joe does. We, I don't have any money. And that's a, someone's asking, how do you have money for all these games? <sighs> Working, man. Making that money. You must become the games. Yes, that is true. It's basically AJ's job. Basically. Yeah, and today we are doing uh, Judge Dredd, I believe, yeah. So, this is going to be cool. And John brought all his, oh man, this looks, looks it's looking pretty epic so far. He's got, always has some cool, uh, some cool terrain buildings. Is this the same Judge Dredd we played a few years back? Oh, yeah, R.I.P. Ray, man. Um, I don't know. We'll have to ask uh, AJ in that. This is from 2019, so probably not. Or maybe. Because 2019 would be a few years back. So, we'll, uh, we will see. Yeah, man, Ray was a good dude. It was a, it was a very sad loss, but we try to uh, keep keep the uh, tabletops going in his memory. You know, try to uh, keep that same good energy going. Chat interactions. No. There's no intermission, though. There's, no There's final impression. Oh. Well, uh, I don't see it. Oh, sure. And JView overview, chat interaction, final impression, PC screen. Whatever. Oh God.
What's up? Oh, shit. All right. Can you ask John if he ever did Necromunda? Ne Have I played Necromunda yet? Yes, he has. Uh, uh, well, that tape did come <laughs> Yeah. John actually worked for uh, Games Workshop. So he and Fort Fort. Oh, the big, the big ones. Yeah. chat I'll be right back I need to go to the user restroom
All right, y'all, and back. Sorry, that uh, that uh, protein shake shook things up, if you will. Yes, this is table scenery. It does look really good. Um, we're going to be playing Judge Dredd today, and it is looking awesome so far. So chat, what are what are uh, some games that you guys are playing right now? Right now, I am heavy into the uh, Power World. <laughs> Power World has been taking up most of my time, and I've almost caught them all. Yeah, we are just setting up, so we're just kind of hanging out. <coughs> the boys are doing whatever. So Forza Motorsport, man, you know what? I was thinking about getting back into that. I saw that on Game Pass, and. Uh, been wanting to play a racer again i was thinking the there's like a need for speed is it the underground remake maybe oh monster hunter world that is a good one man that's uh the power of kind of like monster hunter in a couple of ways you're hoping to play a jrpg called legend of heroes trials to Azure. Motorsport takes its tries it. Yeah, because there's a there's a for Forza there's a Forza Motorsport, right? And then there's just like the Forza, which is like the the fun one where you're driving in like the festival or whatever. Unbound. Unbound, yeah. Maybe yeah, maybe I'm thinking of unbound. Uh need for speed. But, I don't know, there's always a special place in my heart for Need for Speed. It's just the fun, the Need for Speed underground street racing uh, back when, the, like, the Fast and Furious first came out. and Everybody wanted a Toyota Supra. <coughs> Dead Island 2 on Game Pass, yes. It is also classic. Um Sometimes that's like one you kind of like need friends with, though. I like I'm, I'm more of a solo player, but <coughs> yeah, most one of those dope. Crown Wars, the Black Prince, interesting. Yeah, uh, another one that just came out, Hell Divers too. I don't know if you guys played that at all, but um, hearing really good things. Again, it's like. A co-op game, which I'm like not huge into. Fucking hell divers. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, my Discord is literally just people playing Helldivers 2, bro. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I I have I have friends that play it, but I'm like, man, I never I don't work normal hours. So when I'm playing games, people are not usually playing games and when people are playing games, I'm usually asleep and or at work. I guess not and or I shouldn't be asleep at work, um, but, you know, I don't know. I might play it. At least it's not $60. Yeah. <sighs> it's true. Unsociable. It is unsocial hours. I shit for co-op game. Live it, live in the darkness. But someone's got to do it, right? What I do for a living, I am a buyer for a grocery store, so I buy all the cases, like every case of canned goods you see on the shelves at my grocery store. I brought it in, so I buy everything for the store, which includes like. Well, everything in grocery. I don't buy produce. I buy all, like, the chips and the cereals and all all of that. And then I set up displays. I'm in charge of doing displays. So that's a big part of what I do is I set up end caps and special promotional displays and uh, entrance displays. Joe, dog, let's play. You ready for some Dutch Dredge Dredge tonight? Awesome. We are, too. We are, we are setting it up as we speak, y'all. the one getting I don't know about that <laughs> what damn you had me wow you weren't playing Jay just told me that he has 444 hours on cyberpunk which is quite impressive I was flexing that I had 200 hours and I thought I was the fucking man but sorry. Five hundred plus. You haven't beat it yet, dude. I it's I've beaten it, but it's always fun to restart and like respec, especially with the new expansion. There's a lot more options to uh, rebuild. Oh, and Joe Tristan was asking, is this the one y'all played a while back? Yep. With yep, this is the one Tristan. With Ray, R.I.P. And yes, sir. Well, what I think I, we should do is, um, uh, did you already eat, Patrick? No, I had. I a think I'm gonna shake, grab. We'll grab something to eat, bring it back, and then we will uh, listen to John uh, study kind of the rules together as we eat, okay. and then we'll stream, uh, jump into the stream. Yeah. Um, how many, John? How many uh, miniatures do you have for? You you have um, do you have the whole set? Yeah. Okay. Everything released so far. They started releasing new stuff. Yeah. I haven't had a chance. I think I only oh, bought one or two. Do you have any fatties? I have one fatty. Man, I got a f I got a pack of fatties downstairs. I need somebody. Who paints all these for you? Uh, I paint some, and I also got a I got a, a stable of about eight or nine guys. Depending upon if I need it in a week, if I need a tabletop, if I need a supreme, you know. So I. Hmm. I'll let you know. Those are all Oklahoma guys. All over the United States, yeah. So I got I got some some downstairs uh, Judge Dredd stuff I wanted to get painted. Sure. Um, yeah, but yeah, you look like you got more than enough. Josh Sandy. Do you use the same? Ufari. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Nailed it, Jam. Sam yeah, Ufari. I can't do his. his Josh Sam Ufari. He's always. I fucking me. nailed it, bro. All just right, for well, you, Josh. I was gonna go get some Chick Fil A, but I just realized it's Sunday. Oh, it's closed. Closed. So we'll just get. What the hell you want to get? 
Did you get like Chipotle? I don't know. I don't know why Chipotle popped in my head. We had tacos yesterday, but I'd be oh, willing to go have tacos, tacos again. That taco yesterday. truck is good. Maybe they'll have some of the steak. Oh, you want to go to the taco truck? Yeah, I'll be down. I got to get Because it's right around the corner. I gotta get some, I'm going to ask for a side of that broth next time, or this time, though. Yeah. You got to have that broth to dip it in. All right, Chad. Well, I'm going to end the stream. That way, when we start, we are jumping into the game. So you get some good watchability to that, and it'll help me in my editing. Um also, that reminds me, I need to plug in my phone and charge it up so that I can do turn summaries on my phone and get and see. Yes, Wonton, um, I'm here too. Give it to What's Patrick to edit. Edit it out. See if we can make a video out of this. Make some, make a interesting okay. video out of. So I'll be right back. Um, I'm going to go get some food with Patrick. We're going to bring it back here. If you want, we can start the stream while we learn the rules. It's just that's kind of boring for y'all. And I was yeah. thinking that we would just, you know, start it when it's when when we got it get going good. Um, does the one thing like I have three miniature systems for Judge Dread, and um, I think this one might be the superior one of them all. But I think one thing does this have a campaign system? Yes. Oh, that's good. That's and then, good. And then we released, uh, a supplement. supplement. Yeah, so I didn't buy that supplement yet. Yeah. You have it? Yeah. And how, what does that supplement well, do? Well, like a gang. You know, you're yes. Gang, you have your block, and you have so many people living in the block, and you have fights. Right, the but you don't have the Justice Department that's oh, yeah, its own block? It. It's its own block? Well, no, they come and they try to stop the block war. Stop the block war, but they're NPCs? Uh, can't be, or, or you can play them as guys rolling in trying to stop. You can have so, a player show up, but you would have your own gang, too. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Maybe we and do you have enough? Okay, do you have enough gangers for two players? I think we will. I'll, I'll dig in there. Mhm. Mm and then you obviously have enough for dread or for justice versus gangers. Right. Okay. You got two engineers. Yeah. Because I think I, I, the one aspect it, that would be cool is like gang on gang, and then the judge show up, yeah. or we can go. What I was thinking, me and Patrick judges and y'all gang. Um. But, yeah, just think about w what missions would be good for, for new players to get Patrick in. Scenario. Uh, and then. Is your box that you got nearby? My box? Uh, no, but I put everything that's my box. I thought I put it in there. So all my counters and stuff are there. Why? Yeah, yeah. I was hoping you have. Here's one of the things because I buy my things painted and some of it used. They never send me some cards, so some of the miniatures I have have no freaking cards. Okay. So maybe John, you can help me with that at Warlord. That would be cool, uh, so I can get get back up there. I know. Y hopefully, you brought your cards for oh, your yeah, your like things, because <laughs> that's one aspect I don't have. Okay, Chad, well, we'll be back. Thank y'all for hanging out, and come hang out with us later on today. Be right back.